Hey guys, it's Sam with Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are talking about bone conducting headphones. The headphones we are featuring today are the Wessonly High Runner bone conducting headphones. Now, full disclosure, Wessonly did send these to me at no cost in order to make this video for you guys, but they're not paying me in any way to make this video so they don't influence what I say about the headphones. If at the end of the video you're interested in picking up these headphones, I will have links in the description down below. Now, what are bone conducting headphones if you've never heard of these? These are special Bluetooth headphones that actually send the audio through your cheekbone instead of sending the audio through the air. Now, this could be beneficial for people in a lot of different ways. The main way is safety. Because this is not an in-the-ear headphone, there's no chance of damaging your hearing, damaging the membrane in the inside of the ear over prolonged periods of listening to music, the other thing which is great for our community is having the music go through the bone and not the ear. This leaves your ears open to the world around you. Now, I will be honest, I am not 100% sold on bone conducting headphones. I never have been. I see the benefits in them. This set here, the High Runner, this is a fantastic set of headphones. But I do still have some issues with bone conducting headphones in general. We'll talk about those at the end of the video. But first, let me tell you more about the High Runner Bluetooth bone conducting headphones. The first thing that's very impressive about these is the construction. They're made with a titanium alloy, so they're very strong, but also super flexible. The other nice thing is they fit my big head. <laughs> it is not very often that something like bone conducting headphones actually fit on my head and are comfortable. But part of it is because they are so flexible. They sit very nicely on my head. They're nice and secure, which is great because these are considered sport headphones. So they need to stay on there without moving around. They're also very comfortable. They don't pinch or cause any uncomfortable pressure. Battery life, up to 12 hours of continuous music playback with the headphones. They also do quick charging. They can charge fully in two hours and they have a unique magnetic charging plug which makes it super easy, especially with low vision. Full tactile buttons here to control your music playback or to answer the phone. This does have a microphone so you can answer phone calls with it. They are waterproof, up to 20 meters. So you can actually go swimming <laughs> with these headphones or even just take a shower with the headphones listening to your music. And probably the coolest thing is it's not just a Bluetooth headphone, it also has a built-in MP3 player. It has 32 gigabytes of storage, which means you can put on around 5,000 songs. So that is really, really cool, especially if you do want to use these for some type of sport, like running, or track and field, swimming. Obviously you don't want to have a big phone in your pocket bouncing around while you're running or swimming, of course. It's not very easy to take a cell phone into the pool with you. So to have a built-in MP3 that you can just load in all of your songs or your podcast or your audiobooks and then just use this independently of itself without needing to connect it to anything, that is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite features. The company claims to have hi-fi sound quality. Uh, it claims that not very many bone conducting headphones have as high a quality music sound coming out of them as the high runner bone conducting headphones do. Now, if that is true, I, I'm not sure. I will say that the audio quality is pretty good compared to other bone conducting headphones I've tried. Since these aren't headphones that are in your ear or covering your ear, some of the sound may be heard by people just standing around you, maybe sitting next to you on a bus. So let's see how much of that sound does actually get out. All right, music is playing. Microphone is only about less than three feet away from me. Can you guys hear it? Do ever what you wanna do coming over you. Semi-charm kind of life, baby, baby. 
Okay, now we're gonna test it against my favorite pair of inner ear Bluetooth headphones. I did a whole video about these headphones. I love these headphones. I will link that video in the video description or popping out on the video card in the upper right corner. But we're gonna play the exact same song at the same volume and see how it sounds. Okay, gotta turn it down. Can you guys hear it? If I get close. Probably not, huh? Okay. So obviously headphones that go into your ear or project the sound right into your ear, it's just gonna be a louder, brighter, more clear sound. The bone conducting headphones, it's not muffled, but it's not as crisp and clear of a sound, as bright of a sound. It claims to be hi-fi, high fidelity sound, uh, but personally, I would choose the inner ear just for pure sound quality. Now, before we get to my cons about this product in particular and bone conducting headphones in general, uh, the price, price for the High Runner Bluetooth headphones is $99. So under $100, basically, it is available through Amazon and the West only website. I'll have links to both of those down below. Okay, what don't I like about the High Runner Bluetooth bone conducting headphones? Really, the only thing that I'm not crazy about is while you are wearing them and listening to the music, you do get a vibration going into your into your skull, basically. <laughs> and that's pretty much true for any bone conducting headphones. I mean, it's, it's what it's doing. It's sending the vibration of the audio into your head and that's how you quote unquote hear the sound. I, I will say you, you kind of get used to it after a while. At first though, it's a little disorienting and I'm never able to listen to music or audiobooks or anything like that for a long period of time through bone conducting headphones because of that vibration. Maybe I'm just a little extra sensitive to it. The other thing is the audio quality. I said it's, it's, it's better than most bone conducting headphones I've tried and that's true, but any type of bone conducting headphone, the audio is not going to be as good as an inner ear headphone. And if that just makes sense, you know, your ears are open while you're listening to music with bone conducting headphones. And so all that ambient noise around you, if you're outside, the sounds of nature, the sounds of traffic, all of that is kind of working against you hearing the music. So it's just not gonna be as loud as traditional headphones or inner ear, earbuds, those types of things. I usually have it sitting here just in front of my ear, but if I'm having a difficult time hearing it, like if I'm walking out on a busy street, if I kind of angle it up a little bit so that where the audio is coming out is over top of my ear, it sounds much better. This isn't as comfortable as the way you're supposed to wear it, but it's not too bad either and it is, the sound is louder and easier to hear. The only other negative that I ran into was listening to audiobooks loaded onto the MP3 player. The problem is that it treats it just like a regular sound file or just a regular music track. So you can't exactly just stop halfway through listening to a book and then come back the next day and expect to pick it up at that same point because it's just gonna start over at the beginning of that track or that, that sound file. So just something to keep in mind if you're gonna be listening to a podcast or an audiobook. You kind of have to do it all at once, <laughs> start to finish. But honestly, other than that, couple little negatives. I really like this product. Um, I love the design of it. It's very lightweight, super strong and flexible. And then the having a built-in MP3 player and being waterproof. Kind of crazy that I could go swimming in the ocean with these and listen to some awesome music or riding on a jet ski. <laughs> it says, it claims you can use these for water sports and like diving and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it would stay on if I went diving into the water, but I would be afraid they'd pop right off. They're pretty snug though. Okay guys, so this was the West Sonly High Runner Bone Conducting Bluetooth Headphones. 
Once again, I will have links to this down below. Huge thank you to the company for sending this out to me to make this video for you guys. If you have any questions for me, as always, leave those in the comments down below. I'm happy to help. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll always be alerted every time I put out a new video every single Saturday morning. But that is it, guys. As always, Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.